Marvel's Eternals, Who's the Black Knight? An article by Jamie Lovett. This is on August 27th. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We are comics. Please note, Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members. These are some of the reports that I have been receiving from the United Comic Universe family members. So please check to see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to others so they can see how awesome and different our channel is. Also like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the fight to take down Hydra. Hello UCU family, United Comics Universe. Your host here, Joan and Show, Marvel's Black Knight. I've heard of the Black Knight, haven't read much about him, read a comic or two with him appearing in it long time ago. Interesting character. Let's get into this. At D23 Expo. 2019, Marvel Studios confirmed the Game of Thrones star, Kit Harrington, will join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Harrington will play Dane Whitman, aka the Black Knight, in the upcoming Eternals movie. Black Knight isn't the most popular Marvel character, but is a former member of the Avengers and the Defenders. Here's what you should know about him. Writer Roy Thomas and artist John Buscemi created Dane Whitman. Kirkta first appeared in the Avengers number 47 in 1967 and is the third Marvel character to go by the name Black Knight. Whitman is a descendant of Sir Percy of Scandia, the original Black Knight from medieval times in the Marvel Universe. Whitman's uncle, Nathan Garrett, was a supervillain and a member of the Masters of Evil. Dane inherited the mystically cursed ebony blade from his uncle. The wizard Merlin forged the ebony blade from a substance called Starstone that he discovered at the site of a meteor crash on Earth. He then enchanted the blade, turning it into a powerful arcane artifact. The ebony blade is indestructible, as far as anyone can tell, can cut through barriers both physical and mystical, and can absorb or deflect energy. It, is also, f it also forms a bond with its owner. The ebony blade cannot harm its master, and its master can teleport to its location. Its power allowed Dane to travel through time to inhabit the bodies of previous owners. The bloodshed Sir Percival inflicted with the ebony blade cursed the weapon. The curse affects different owners in different ways, reflecting its use. If it spills too much blood, it will begin craving blood and compel its owner to violence. The ebony blade also seems to have some will of its own, at times compelling its owner to take certain actions or travel to certain places. Upon receiving the ebony blade, Dane sought to use it to restore honor to his family by making up the axe of his uncle. Making up for the axe of his uncle, he sought the Avengers, who at first mistook him for Nathan Garrett. After clearing up the confusion, the Avengers used Dane to infiltrate the Masters of Evil. His dangerous work as a mole in the supervillain organization proved his value to the Avengers. They offered him provisional membership in their ranks. He later went to join the Defenders, Excalibur, and MI-13. Dane's relationship with the Eternals stems from his relationship with Cersei. Later in his superhero career, Black Knight rejoined the Avengers. Cersei was also a member of the team at the same time, and the two began a romantic relationship. A villain called Proctor alters Cersei, destabilizing her powers. Icarus, another Eternal, tried to stabilize Cersei by bonding her to Dane using a process called Ganjosin. The bonding bred resentment in Dane, which, great, which grew as his romantic interests drifted elsewhere. Proctor returns and reveals he is Dane Whitman from another reality. After his Cersei rejected him, he began traveling the multiverse to kill all versions of the Eternal. Wow! Cersei plays Proctor with his version of the Ebony Blade, but damages her mind in the process. She is forced to leave the main Marvel Universe 
to find a way to restore her sanity. Dane, feeling responsible for what happened, accompanied her. Dane and Cersei traveled the multiverse and through time and later returned home, going their separate ways. Well, that's the rundown for our new Eternals upcoming Marvel film information. Kit Harrington, we all know who that is. Game of Thrones, yeah. So, how do you feel about him playing the Black Knight? I believe, uh, Jonan Show's opinion, since he is from Game of Thrones, you know, everybody's in the mindset of him playing, you know, something medieval, something knightly, something that can remind you of how great he was on Game of Thrones. I think they're using that to, um, kind of validate him as the Black Knight. So you, you'll feel completely familiar and comfortable with seeing him on the film playing, you know, the Black Knight. So you'll understand his mannerisms and the way he speaks and, you know, he's from Game of Thrones. So he could play the Black Knight, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Jon Snow is now the Black Knight. How about that? Sounds good to me. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to do well. How about this? Him traveling through time and killing every version of someone. That's a lot of hate. That's a lot of hate. That's all I'm saying. Well, knowing that his sword can not only teleport him through time, but also reality. So he can effectively travel the multiverse any way he wants. That would have came in very good use when they were dealing with Thanos. I guess he's late in the game. However, with this, that means that as far as Eternals, he might not even be a major part of the film per se. There may be um, a scene or two where he had traveled back into the times, you know, where the Celestials and the Eternals and everything was first, first created, perhaps. And perhaps he traveled that far back since um, Cersei existed back in that time. And we don't know what relationship the MCU is going to create between Cersei and the Black Knight. But I must say I am quite interested to see that. Of time, or as the Earth evolved or moved forward in time, we will see different events at different timelines. Times on our world, how it developed. Well, let me know please, you see you family, what do you think about this? Do you think Kit Harrington is a good fit for Black Knight? Or do you think they should have, uh looked a little harder I think he's going to do well but that remains to be seen but as always we are comics United Comic Universe store is now open where you can get awesome gear from leggings to hoodies when you feel a little cold at night and the fireplace is just not working for you drink some of your delicious hot chocolate in your UCU mug drink it up that's what I do <laughs> oh, wait, when your feet is feeling a little cold at night, put on your United Coming Universe socks to get the warmness only the United Coming Universe socks can give you. Are you ready to gear up and take on Hydra? Well, the links is down below. Hit those links to gain access to all the awesome gear where you can join the fight to help take down Hydra. This has been United Coming Universe. Remember, we are comics so you like the video duh that is why they're here because they like the video <laughs> awesome so you subscribe like share and don't forget to hit that notification bell and also leave a comment down below also click one or two or three or one of these playlists is going to be put somewhere around here so you'll see them <laughs> to get more comic news this has been another awesome video brought to you by United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics. <laughs>